so let's move to the next step now we are going to test restricted groups in active directory so what i am going to do here i am going to promote a backup domain controller and uh, we'll show you how to wipe off the domain admins group members and uh, i will create another test account test membership i will add multiple users in that group then i will see that how we restrict group membership so currently you see my one domain controller lon-dc1.edatum.com this is my second backup lab bdc like a backup domain controller a second server which is promoted uh, which actually is a member server now so let's quickly add active directory binaries promote this member server because you can see we don't have active directory so i need to add active directory binaries and then promote this uh, member server as a backup domain controller so let's do it uh, quick with a fast forward uh, or a quick action so i will not record every step simply i am adding these domain binaries this is done and i am going to add now this uh, bdc host as a backup domain controller under adatum.com so this will be my backup domain controller uh, will act as a dns of course we need dns and a global catalog server this is my uh, directory services restore mode password there is only one domain so you will see adatum.com will be the master or root domain and i am promoting this as a backup domain controller prerequisites are good uh, they are checking but prerequisites uh, should be okay uh, the setup it i made already and i will go click on install so what will happen now we will have a root domain uh, lon-dc1 and now this is a backup domain controller i am rebooting this i'm going to log in with my own account emeer this account is a uh, enterprise admin member and a, a domain admins group member so now you see we have two domain controllers lab underscore bdc and lon dash dc1 so on the other computer also we have uh, both domain controllers in my root domain which is my lon dash dc1 this is my user account email which i'm going to use to proceed and i'm creating a new group uh, test membership so this group will have couple of members i might gonna go and customize actually this environment here i will create uh, about 10 users in powershell uh, using my uh, dollar ps item uh, uh, loop method so one dot dot 10 means you are creating 10 users uh, m e e r is the start name and the 10 more for x y z so i will use uh, these 20 users for two groups uh, 10 for domain admins member uh, and 10 for uh, test membership so let's go and look at domain admins group before we add uh, these users into domain admins group so these 10 accounts are just created uh, and then these other 10 i just created through the powershell add to the group first uh, i will add 10 users uh, to test membership group and 10 users to domain admins group uh, after that so now these members x y z 1 to 10 are member of the test membership these me 1 to me 10 m e e r me is my last name these 10 members will be part of domain admins group but let me clean first domain admin group so i will open up another session for uh, uh, active directory users and computers and 
in that sense i am going to uh, check that who is the member of domain admins group at this time so i actually want to clean that up first and i will use only these 10 members so here i have a lot of users there so let's select all except my id even that is not a matter i am a member of enterprise admin group but i cleaned up domain admins group so i have two active directory sessions open done now i should have 10 members of domain admin groups so we will actually restrict group membership now uh, by creating a new organizational unit in my Active Directory, moving one domain controller into uh, that OU from the default domain controller's OU location. So once that is done, then we will create a group policy let us first uh, make this OU organizational unit and uh, this will be restricted in other words uh, I am uh, restricting members from domain admins and uh, test membership groups so I will move one of those two domain controllers like lab backup domain controller or lab BDC into this OU so that will be uh, actually this should be refreshed now once we refresh that new OU should be available so here we go restricted membership so this is a new policy I am creating now uh, no members is the name of the policy okay so you can edit this policy under computer configuration from policy and you go to window settings and security settings and restricted groups that is the path of this group policy so you go into uh, restricted groups and add here whatever group you want to add for example domain admins in this case first and then test membership second so these two groups should not have any members if domain controller resides under this restricted uh, OU. Okay, so this part is done. Now we have a restricted groups OU, and but we did not uh, move domain controller yet. So what I am going to do here from my active directory snap in i will go ahead and drag this lab bdc under restricted groups now the policy what we just created should be applied here now uh, of course we need a reboot because we did a computer configuration and now this is my element dash dc1 and let's see uh, that what will be the result if we reboot our uh, we have to refresh this because yeah we refreshed it now uh, it is moved now from both domain controllers I am rebooting uh, after reboot I am going to log in as my ID as E-M-E-E-R because this is a domain admins ID uh, in this domain now we can go and validate that we have this is placed correctly and uh, we are going to look for test groups uh, text membership no members we go into the domain admins group now and see the members there this should be empty as well all right okay so we just proved that if you restrict group membership through the policy we can and and in this way when you move your domain back groups will not come back actually when you move domain back to domain controllers or you whatever was deleted in the log you will see it is done by the system you you will not be able to see any id but now i moved it back 
the quick way is that now I need to put members back into you can use manual GUI way or uh, you can use PowerShell I did create offline a PowerShell script at the back end which you can see and uh, uh, you can follow along pause your screen or you can simply uh, go ahead and select these members and add these members into the corresponding groups so now domain admins should have all users from MEER 1 to 10 or XYZ 1 to 10 are under test membership so we are good now so members are back but as soon we move domain controller to that or you back definitely you will not be able to see any member because this is the purpose of this video so you could see that a group membership uh, is restricted for certain high privileged groups uh, that is the main reason this is a script you can use it I uh, set up I actually exported these uh, members of those groups as an XYZ for test members uh, into an in, in CSV file and I exported into the admins uh, CSV file for uh, uh, domain admins group members and then you simply can uh, use a variable D members or whatever variable you can actually set and then run this uh, uh, add group member uh, command through the PowerShell but that is how this was done and if you have any questions feel free to comment about it and I will reply uh, to you so here we are good I'm just reviewing again so thank you for watching this video I'll see you in my next video Thank you.